Hi everybody, my name is Melinda. Welcome back to our channel. I am here with not another Dollar Tree haul. I am here with my very first DIY. That's right, I finally did it. I put together a 4th of July patriotic DIY set for you. So I've got three different DIYs. Two of them are patriotic. One of them is just because I wanted to get it done. So, um, I'm not gonna promise the best videography because there's probably a few, I know there's a few places where it's not quite in shot. I might be doing something right about here <laughs> where you can see part of it, but I promise I'm gonna be doing more. Um, I've just gotta teach myself. I've gotta learn how to do it. So we don't learn if we don't try, right? So anyways, I hope you enjoy these three DIYs. Two of them are patriotic. Um, and yeah, so let's get on to it. I'm gonna show you my materials. First, I've got a cardboard cereal box. Any cardboard will do. I've got a bowl to trace with. I've got paper straws from the Dollar Tree. A pair of scissors this metal welcome sign from the Dollar Tree, a pair of needle nose pliers, a pen, a cutting mat, that's from the Dollar Tree, some blue acrylic paint, red acrylic paint, and my hot glue gun. So now I'm going to disassemble the cardboard box to flatten it out. This way I can trace the circle that I need. I'm gonna trim this down and you'll see later that I end up using a different circle. So we open up the straws and I'm gonna try figuring out what angle I wanna glue things at, how I wanna go about things. I did watch a video of someone else doing one of these um, but I'm just kind of winging it here so I drew a smaller circle in the center so I had something to work my way around and again you're gonna see later that I'm doing this on a very with a smaller middle circle because DIY is all trial and error so here I'm just gluing down the straws in the place where I want them and I'm kind of leaving the space in between because I'm going to go back and fill in. And just for future, when you see me switch to the smaller cardboard, I will have carefully peeled off each straw to reuse it. Go me. So now that I've got the main circle, I'm going to go through and see where do I want to add blue? Do I want to add more red first? Um, trying to figure out what I want to go with first. You can kind of play with this and just do your own thing. You don't even have to do this for, it doesn't have to be 4th of July. You could do this with any paper straws. This would be really pretty if you had like silver paper straws. Um, anything that you like. You can do this for anything. I, I might even try doing this for another holiday because I really do like how it turns out. So again, I'm just filling in holes. Right now, I think I have all of the straws the same length, but I'm kind of gluing them at different depths on the circle. And it's all a matter of taste. So now I'm gonna start adding in blue and trying to figure out the spacing on there. I only was able to get one pack of that uh, muted blue. So now what I've decided to do is cut them down. That way I have more to work with. So I left some long and I cut some in half so that I could do big and small pieces.
just kind of wedging them in where there's space and where it looks like it needs it. So soon we will transition from this version to the next version. Right now, I'm gonna take the flower off of this welcome sign using my pliers. You just gotta bend the chain link and it comes right out. That's gonna become the center of this. And there's that little bit of white paint on the front, which is really kind of odd, but I'll handle that in a little bit. So right now I thought, hey, let's cut out the center of this cardboard and see if that does anything. I don't know why, because it didn't do anything, but that's okay. Like I said, it's all a learning curve, right? So here we go. I transferred to a smaller inner circle and then I put them all, you can see it closely. So now I'm just filling in and then I'm going to go in with the blue and go in between the long reds. And again, whatever pattern works best for you is fine. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's all a matter of personal preference, whatever makes you happy. And don't be too hard on yourself. I do that a lot. I decide what am I doing? And so I tear things apart like I did. But, and then you can see right there, I cut down a little piece to fill in so that I had some more to glue onto it. So now I'm going to paint that white center of the flower and I go over it a couple of times with that acrylic paint and then I decide I'm going to just go over all of the petals of the blue. And as you can see, this is one of the prime spots where I wasn't in, in shot. So now I am going to be taking small pieces and you can see I was kind of pinching off the ends so that I could make them a point and fit into the small spaces. So I'm going to cut down some more straws just so I have some shorter lengths to fill in. And here you can see the spots where I'm trying to fill in, just so I can try and cover that cardboard. Okay, so I think I'm about done filling in the blank spaces. So now I'm gonna get my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna do a big circle of hot glue. I go around a few times and then place that flower right in the center. Now, what I'm going to do is using some jute twine, which I did not show you in the materials, I'm just gonna tie off a loop and I'm gonna glue that to the back. This way I can hang it. And you wanna make sure you get enough glue on there to hold it really well. I'm just using a straw to kind of spread out some of the glue. I had a big lump and then I popped it off so I have to re-glue it. And here's the final product. Isn't that just pretty? I love how that turned out. So now I'm going to be doing my non-patriotic DIY. I've got two 8x10 picture frames here that I'm going to unwrap. 
And then these are the flower sack towels from the Dollar Tree. I just loved what they said and they were super cute. So I wanted to put them up as wall decor. So I'm gonna take the backing off of the frame and I was gonna use the paper for sizing, but it's too thin, so I'm gonna pop the glass out. And then unfortunately, this towel, the image was too big to fully fit on there. It said, I love you to the fridge and back. This one, the image is smaller, so it'll fit just fine. This says forks to be reckoned with. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to figure out where I want the image placed in the middle of the glass. Then I'm gonna trim the towel. So I'm just gonna cut it off right above the glass and then trim down the sides so I don't have all of the extra material to handle it, to deal with. Then what I decide to do is wrap the material around the glass and glue it down. You'll see later that I decide that was not what I wanted to do. Because really, I didn't want the material to be exposed and, and get dusty. So I end up redoing this here in just a moment. So here, I got out my spray E6000 and I'm just rubbing that on the back of the picture frame where the kickstand is. I'm going to smooth that out and then I'm going to put it in the frame, glass is in the frame, and then that way the fabric is protected. I'm going to push down the clamps. The fabric is protected from dust, and then I can trim stuff down. Isn't that cute? So I'll just trim down some of the extra fabric that's there. Yes, there's probably a much neater way I could have done this, but I just wanted to get these up. So I went the quick and dirty version, and I'm okay with that. All right, and then I found that I had sprayed glue on the table. Oh, well. So this one is says, I love you from my head, tomatoes, to tomatoes, super cute. So I learned my lesson. I'm going to just put this towel straight on the picture frame backing. Try and figure out where I want it so I know where to cut. Spray that down. and then flatten that out on the cardboard. And I'm gonna repeat the same process. Pop it in, push down the clamps, and then I'll trim all of the excess. Really guys, these are so quick and easy. This took me no time at all. And if you find a towel that you just love, why not do this with it, right? And then the extra material that I'm cutting off, I can use for something else. I can mod podge it to something because it's really cute. All right, and here's the finished product. I just love how these turned out. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing my last DIY. This is a balsa wood, I guess you could call it, box or tray that I found in Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. Then I'm using the foiled straws. It was half red and white stripes and half blue with white stars. What I did is I figured out the width of the interior of that box which was about four and a quarter inches so what i'm doing here again 
out of shot is marking my straws at four and a quarter inches. That way I can use the scissors and trim them. Now that they're all marked, I can go ahead and cut them all and make sure that I've marked them correctly, make sure that they fit. And I wasn't exactly sure how high up I wanted to go with the bottom stripes of the flag, so I'm just kind of playing with it before I glue anything down. Now I'm going to start figuring out how big I want my blue star section to be. And I want to say I did that at about two and a quarter inches. So I trimmed those all down. And then the remaining two inches I did in the red, white, and blue that you'll see in a minute. So here's where I'm marking out the other half of the red and white. And again, I can't remember one of them was two inches, the other was two and a quarter. I don't remember which one I did, but you can use any box or any form that you have and just go based on the measurements that you, that you take from that material. So again, I'm just kind of placing them to see, marking out, and getting as many as I can from each straw. I'll cut all of my materials and then I'll start gluing everything together. And I'm trying to just trim them down to make sure that they're all the same length. And now that I know how many short red ones I have, I'll be able to start trimming down the same amount of blue. Okay, so I've got the same amount of blues as I do with the small reds. And I'm just putting them in there to make sure everything fits. You can see I they keep popping out on me, but that's all right. We'll deal with it in a minute. So I took all of the straws out and now I'm going to use an antiquing wax to paint the frame of this box. And again, I'm out of shot. Oh, I realized what I was doing. So this is, it looks like a paint, you paint it on and then you take a cloth and I'm just using the scraps that I just cut off and you wipe it down. So it's like a stain, but it's called antiquing wax. And I really like this and I was not patient like I should. I should have let this dry more um, before I moved on to gluing, but that's okay. So I did the whole interior frame. I didn't bother with the base because that's where I was going to be gluing down the straws. But then I wanted to do the outside. So again, just paint one good coat and then wipe it down really good. If you want it darker, then you can leave it. You don't have to wipe it down so hard, but all a matter of preference. All right, so now that my box is stained with the antiquing wax, I'm gonna start gluing in my straws. 
So I'm just going to start at the bottom, one straw at a time, just do a row of glue, put down that straw, and you can line those stripes up however you want. If you want them to be staggered like I'm kind of doing, I really wasn't even paying attention to that. You can have them all match up, you can stagger them, whatever's best for you. It's really, like I said, it's all a matter of preference and whatever makes you happy. Now I'm gonna start gluing in the blues. And again, you can set them specifically so the patterns are facing however you want. I wasn't necessarily paying too much attention to the direction I was facing the stars, but I really like how it turned out. So you can see I have that one that's sticking out just a hair and I tried to snip it off, but I'll fix that later. Now, as I'm putting in the small reds, some of them I'm having to snip down just a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm gluing in the last couple pieces and just trying to get that in there right. Clean up the little bits and isn't that cute? So there's the finished product. I really like how this turned out. All right, guys, that's it. That's what I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this. If you enjoyed this DIY and you'd like for me to do more, please let me know in the comments below. Like this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. When you do subscribe, you can hit the bell. That will send you notifications on when I upload new videos. You can select which notifications to receive. So again, thank you so much. We appreciate you guys stopping by. Love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye.